Trump strikes crushing blow against Obama's legacy. Huge win for Americans. Experts have already stated that President Donald Trump has shattered Barack Obama's legacy after only one year. Now, the Trump administration has taken steps to undo one of the former president's worst policies. It will save most Americans thousands of dollars. Was there anything that Obama did that actually helped Americans? His signature achievement, Obamacare, was a flaming pile of garbage. It nearly wrecked our health care system. Numerous counties had only one option. Many millions struggled to find affordable insurance, despite the so-called Affordable Care Act. Most of Obama's moves either aided big corporations or radical, progressive groups. Former President Obama used issues like race or the environment as excuses to push greater government regulation. He expanded the size of government, eroding our individual rights in order to give big businesses or special interests an advantage. Most of the time, we the people were hurt. That was never more true in his EPA regulations. Standards that were soon to go into effect were going to cost the average American big bucks. There was nothing to stop them until Trump took action. The Trump administration on Thursday moved to freeze fuel economy standards in what officials described as an effort to give drivers access to safer and more affordable vehicles, in the latest swipe at former President Barack Obama's legacy. The Department of Transportation and Environmental Protection Agency proposed the vehicle change as the first formal step in setting new standards for model years 2021 through 2026. The plan would freeze the Obama-era requirements set to take effect after 2020. There are compelling reasons for a new rulemaking on fuel economy standards for 2021-2026, Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chao said in a statement Thursday. More realistic standards will promote a healthy economy by bringing newer, safer, cleaner, and more fuel-efficient vehicles to U.S. roads and we look forward to receiving input from the public. Source, Fox News Obama's EPA claimed these fuel economy standards would help our environment. In actuality, it was the government's way of interfering with private industries. The forced requirements would have added tremendous costs to the production of new vehicles. Those costs naturally, would have been passed on to you. Keeping the current standards in place, which were finalized in 2012, would add $2,340 to the cost of owning a new car, and would impose more than $500 billion in costs to the economy over the next 50 years, according to the Department of Transportation source, Fox News. Of course, Obama's policies hurt Americans. It's as if liberals just assumed most Americans could afford such a spike in buying a car and that our economy could shoulder such a dramatic increase in costs. Obama loved punishing the middle class to carry out his agenda. Like most socialists, he didn't believe those who were successful deserved their wealth. They should be punished to help those who are considered victims. That even includes the environment, which liberals pretend is the biggest victim of them all. But what about all those working class Americans who need vehicles? Can they shoulder the extra dollar two comma zero 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 plus dollars just for a working vehicle? Clearly, this was a scheme to give big corporations an excuse to charge more for cars. The rest of us including small businesses that cannot afford the changes would be suffering. But the good news keeps coming. Not only is Trump's EPA rolling back this bogus rule, but they are going after leftist states with their own terrible rules. The administration also filed notice Thursday that it wants to revoke the authority of California and other states to set their own, stricter mileage standards independent of federal ones. Acting EPA Director Andrew Wheeler said the frozen standards would deliver on President Trump's promise on fuel economy and greenhouse gas emissions standards. Our proposal aims to strike the right regulatory balance based on the most recent information and create a 50-state solution that will enable more Americans to afford, near, safer vehicles that pollute less. Wheeler said in a statement. More realistic standards can save lives while continuing to improve the environment. Source, Fox News. There will be a battle over this. The brain-dead Democrats in California just banned straws. Of course, they want to punish the millions of residents who rely on cars to get around. Their strict rules would put a larger burden on most Americans with little to show for it. Thankfully, we have a president who cares about Americans first. Mad World News provides commentary on real news stories. The information presented is the opinion of the author.